This is the story. This is what the IMF, the World Bank, does in countries all over the world. They're done destroying the third world. They're now moving in to loot the first world, one of the most wealthy nations on earth, overnight becoming poor. And they're saying, no, this debt is a fraud. This is a scam. You bankers ran off with the money. We don't owe you more money. You may be new to freeze-dry foods. You may have storable food questions. You may want to buy your freeze-dried foods from a very reputable company and not go broke in the process. Welcome to the freeze-dry guy. Okay, actually, we're more than just one guy. We're a California-based company that's been serving our U.S. military and other government agencies with the finest in freeze-dried storable foods and emergency rations since 1970. See all about us at freezedryguy.com. With freeze-dry guy freeze-dried foods, you can and will be ready for just about any unexpected crisis. Freeze Dry Guy foods are delicious, require little preparation, and will taste just as fresh decades from now as they do today. Just add hot water and serve. Backpackers consistently rate us number one year after year as the best tasting and ease of preparation. Isn't that what you want for your family? Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call 866-404-FOOD. That's 866-404-3663 or go to FreezeDryGuy.com. Freeze Dry Guy, the best you can buy. Have you heard that millionaire, entrepreneur, businessman, your congressional candidate, and author Robert Beatles wrote a new book called Here's What You Do? You can buy it at here'swhatyoudo.net as an ebook for six bucks or the book for ten bucks. And we have an audio book on its way for you commuters as well. Here's What You Do tells you exactly what to do to survive and thrive in these harsh economic times. This book will work for anyone, rich, poor, middle class, it doesn't matter. This book truly has the information that can make you wealthy, and it will tell you how to protect your wealth as well. You know the government isn't looking out for you. You need to look out for yourself. The economy is bad, but it's probably going to get worse. You must prepare and make sure you are able to financially take care of yourself and your loved ones. Go to hereswhatyoudo.net and start today. Again, it is hereswhatyoudo.net. That's hereswhatyoudo.net. One last time, it's hereswhatyoudo.net. Are you wondering about your retirement portfolio? Are you confident that the financial advisor is experienced enough to combat climbing interest rates, taxes, and inflation? Stop guessing and go to the expert, Robert Chapman of the International Forecaster. When you subscribe to the International Forecaster, you get Robert Chapman's 45 years of experience and concise investment recommendations. Who needs sugar-coated excuses when you can get the cold hard facts and proven investment leads you can't get anywhere else? For a free introductory copy to Robert Chapman's International Forecaster, subscribe now at theinternationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. Experience the difference. When you subscribe, you can email Robert Chapman directly to obtain investment advice tailored just for you. Don't wait another minute. Subscribe today at theinternationalforecaster.com or call 877-479-8178. That's 877-479-8178. Our economy is in great distress. The financial dominoes can fall at any time. It's time to stop hoping it doesn't happen and prepare just in case it does. You have auto and home insurance. Why wouldn't you have food insurance? Are you prepared to feed your family long term? Because it might take years to recover. As the adult, it's your responsibility to feed your family, especially during rough times. SurvivalistSeeds.com is offering a package that will give you a three-acre heirloom vegetable garden anywhere. 50 heirloom varieties, 8,000 vegetable seeds, over 5 pounds of healthy food. Don't be fooled by marketing companies disguised as patriots. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of Don't Tread on Me radio show. Birgitta jones dautier member of the Icelandic parliament, leading the charge against the banker takeover. Americans are losing their jobs or having their pay cut. Their savings are being destroyed. We're going through the same process as Main Street dies, as everything is fed into the big banks. But they tell Americans, oh, we've got a great economy. So we're in the same boat as Iceland. 
Going uh, back to our guest, uh, Birgitta, looking at this and the fraud they're engaged in, go over the con for people, the type of fraud these banks are, uh, are engaged in, and then tie that uh, in with the spin they're putting out to counter you and other Icelanders that are refusing to become slaves. Well, I guess the con started uh, relatively sneakily, you know, because um, they were sort of uh, passing loans between the banks with nothing really behind it. They were making all these fancy bundles and, and stuff like that. Uh, and I, I honestly don't have the English terms for it. Um, but uh, then in the end, when they were truly becoming desperate for uh, cash, they started to con elderly people and immigrants, uh, asking them to move their savings to uh, high-risk accounts, saying that there were no risk accounts, uh, and um, telling them that you know even though it had better interest, it would uh, be still uh, completely safe for them uh, to save the money there. And then they basically rinsed out all that money into God knows what. Probably it's all resting in Tortola Islands or something like that. Um, the spin that's happening right now with the Icelandic government and the media, it's almost shocking. It feels like they are, you know, somehow working with the Dutch and the uh, British uh, in order to make us submit to their fear mongering because one of the mantras they had uh, in Parliament when they were forcing this bill through was that uh, Iceland would become completely isolated. We would become Cuba of the North or Zimbabwe of the North, Nigeria of the North, uh, and that, you know, everybody would stop doing business with us, we could not get loans anywhere, um, and our export would be in danger, nobody would want to invest So in financial Iceland. terrorism, we have the same thing here in October of 2008. They said, you will have martial law, you will have a collapsed economy, give us unlimited power, and then now there's talk of criminal charges against Geithner and others. I mean, they're committing crimes. It's the same people that robbed us, robbed you. Why not have the people of Iceland swear out warrants and arrest these bankers that engaged in fraud. That will end their propaganda immediately when the people openly see them in irons. Yeah, that's what everybody's waiting for. There is actually, uh, I'm, I'm on a committee that has just been founded to go through the, there is a truth commission report coming out uh, early next month. Uh, and everybody's waiting in anticipation um, about what is going to be in that report. I hope that both politicians who were sleeping or openly engaged in this uh, scam and um, allowing all the institutions to be laid down or, or thwarted uh, with new legislation um, and the criminals that uh, stole the money and actually the guys that owned Landsbanki, the iSave host, uh, have been openly you know, associated with the Russian mafia. <laughs> so we're dealing with very big elements here. And uh, that is why I think that um, uh, the people in Iceland need more than anything to feel that we're not alone in the world, that the people of the world more than anything are behind us. And uh, I'm studying um, an international petition where the only thing people need to do is just to say that they support us in this uh, quest for freedom from this tyranny and blackmail. And they've also been using the EU because uh, what the new government did was to apply for membership uh, of the U European Union, despite the fact that the majority of the nation is not willing to join it. Uh, and one, people have to bear in mind that even though we're very few, there are 320,000 people living on the island, who is the, the island is the same size as Kentucky, um, we have incredible resources and we are located very uh, strategically for warfare. And that's why we had an American base here for, you know, since the World War, Second World War until recently. Uh, and since the Cold War stopped, then we became redundant as a location uh, to the great joy of many. Uh, but however, the north pathway uh, for ships to travel from Asia to, to this part of the world in a much shorter and quicker way is opening. So, All right, know, stay there. Stay there. Member of uh, Parliament from Iceland leading the fight against the bankers, a bellwether test case. 
Uh, they're set to vote very soon on whether they're going to let the bankers continue their raping. Uh, the bankers are now...